Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're going to think about where to start with your 3D modeling. So if you want to learn 3D and make awesome visuals for movies or games, you can't really just jump in and make these amazing things. It can be an extremely frustrating and difficult process and you will end up being fed up and give up pretty quickly. So where should you start? So in terms of learning programs like Blender, I've already got a video on that which I'll link to in the description and put a card in the corner. And within that video, I highlight CG Boost's course. It's one of the best beginner courses I've seen, and I can thoroughly recommend it. There's links in the description to that course. They are affiliated links, so you'll be supporting me if you click on those. And you can see in the background here that I'm using scenes from Polygon Runway, and the links to his work, Instagram, time lapses, and to his paid course are in the description. Again, this is an affiliated link. So I believe the best place to start, and I've said all along, is to work with low poly objects. It's a nice easy place to start learning, you can hone your skills, you've got simple shapes, you can have fun outcomes and you get quite quick results. It's really good for getting used to all the basic techniques like loop cuts and extrusions. And it's also good for understanding shape and working with 3D, simplifying forms and breaking down complex objects into simple shapes, and that's basically what 3D modeling is. One of the most important things as a 3D modeler is to have good observational skills. You need to look at the world and environments around you and the forms, structures and shapes that make up all the objects that you can see. And once you've developed those skills and had lots of fun making low poly scenes, you can then make them more and more detailed until you get to something that's really realistic if that's what you're looking for. You may be hoping to go to a more stylized approach and you can still do the same things with low poly. You take those forms, you exaggerate them, you play with them, but start off doing this with low poly objects. Get the feel and understanding of how to work with 3D before you move on to more complex projects. Now, a great practitioner of this approach is Roman from Polygon Runway. He has a fantastic YouTube channel and you can see his work on Instagram. There's lots of time lapses there that you can look through and figure out how he's made certain things. He's also done a paid for course, which is really detailed and in depth. Now this low poly approach is not just a means to an end. So although you will be building your 3D skills, it's a really popular trend within the graphics design industry. And I've seen countless numbers of posters and advertising material using this approach in their designs. I spoke to Roman from Polygon Runway and asked him what the most crucial piece of advice is for producing great quality low poly landscapes or dioramas which we can see on his Instagram. He said there are three main things, composition, lighting, and he put particular emphasis on the consistent level of detail, especially working with low poly. So when you're making your low poly scenes to start off on your 3D journey, as well as all the skills that you'll be trying to learn along the way, do also try and learn about lighting and composition. And when making your low poly scenes, think about that level of detail being consistent throughout all your models. Don't go into tiny bits of detail in one model and then leave the rest. Now I do want to take a moment to promote Roman's course, I think it's very good. And he goes through all those things like lighting and composition and detail, as well as many beginner steps throughout his course. I do believe it's very helpful if you can afford it to go for a pay for course. You can go through them sequentially rather than jumping all over the place and build your skills more progressively. A lot of beginners tend to jump all over the place, especially on YouTube channels, such as mine to be honest, where I'm trying to vary the content for beginners, intermediate and advanced. Although I have lots of beginner courses on my channel, it doesn't really match up to the quality that you get from these sequential courses that are in much more detail from people like CG Boost and Polygon Runway. What's also really great is that both CG Boost's course and Polygon Runways have support in dedicated discussion groups for their students doing the courses. So just quickly, what do you get in Roman's course? Well, you can see here the detail that he goes into. There's five chapters split into many different sections going through how to model five different scenes with lots of hours of content. And in addition to this, there are bonus episodes on things like animation and rendering in different ways. And once again, you can find these links in the description. They're affiliated links, so you'll be supporting me if you click on those. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Roman for supplying the artwork for today's episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.